Hey guys, Gary Fong here, and I talked about our biggest flop product, which was the flip cage. It underdid uh, our expectations by quite a large margin. I want to talk about one of our biggest successes ever. Well, of course, it was the light sphere, and I'm, I'm, I've got this uh, stack right here uh, for another YouTube that I'm going to be doing, showing the dif different uh, differences between Generation 1 through Generation 5 and how it's evolved over the last roughly 14 years. You know, I see people who have one of the older light spheres, and they'll come up to me and they'll say Gary thank you so much for my light sphere I've had it for 10 years and it's the best you know best thing I've ever bought um, which made me realize that there's so many people that don't have the generation 5 and the generation 5 is the ultimate we haven't changed it in five years because I'm constantly staring at it thinking how can I improve it and I can't improve it so if you have a generation 3 4 5 wait and see see the 5 does but that's for another video this video is to talk about one of the biggest successes I ever had about 10 years ago uh, roughly, and that is the Chrome Dome. The Chrome Dome is an interesting product because what it does is it actually boosts the power that goes up into the light sphere uh, to send it out uh, into, like, say, when you're doing group shots or something like that. So, by addition to the Chrome Dome, you still get the height and the diffusion of the sphere away from the lens. We want to have the, the light source far away from the lens to reduce red eye. Red eye comes because the uh, pupil, uh, your iris, uh, shows the back of the pupil and when the light goes directly in, you actually see the blood from the back of your retina. That's what red eye is and it's actually really gross. And when you see a cat or a deer, you'll see a mirror because they have a very reflective retina because they have to, uh, you know, survive in low light. So it's kind of a little trivia, trivia thing. But what I did with the Chrome Dome was I enabled it to raise far above uh, the lens so that you'd eliminate red eye and then I'll just lift it so maybe you can kind of see what happens. The light goes up and into this mirror and then creates a hot spot high and away from the lens. Now we discontinued this uh, about five years ago because it's environmentally unfriendly. We have um, about 91 kitted units in stock as of uh, mid-March. I think today is March 14, uh, 2019. We have 91 kitted ones and we have um, about a thousand unkitted and we will sell these but they um, once they're gone, they're gone. And the reason we stopped making them is because it is chrome plated. And when you chrome plate or anodize uh, something like this, when you put plastic through plating, not all of the chrome gets onto the plastic. In other words, we discard it and then it winds up in landfills uh, in landfills, and it becomes an environmental hazard. So this is compatible with all light spheres. There is an adapter ring that it comes with. So if you uh, want to put it on your light sphere collapsible, it simply snaps on and uh, just like that. Or if you have one of the earlier models, then you don't need the adapter ring. <clears throat> anyway, Look on this uh, page for the special promotional offer on the Chrome Dome, but once they're gone, they're gone. Thanks for watching.